This video will demonstrate how to conditionally hide or show a lookup in IBM's Maximo. For this, I will be using the RM App Developer Perspective in TRM's Rules Manager Studio. I am using this tool because it will vastly simplify the process of hiding unnecessary lookups in Maximo. First, let me demonstrate how, to, how the work order tracking works out of the box and how I want it to change. To open this application in the web browser, I will right click on the Maximo application I am trying to configure in the App Explorer on the left and select the Open with Internet Browser option. This will bring me directly to the work order tracking application. Selecting the first record on my list page, I can see that the problem code field is read-only, but it has a lookup next to it. When I try and select this lookup, I get an error message. By filling in the failure code, the problem code becomes editable and I no longer get the error message. To prevent my users from getting this error message, I can remove the lookup from this field while it is read-only. To hide this lookup, I will open the WoTrack app editor by right-clicking the WoTrack application in the App Explorer on the left and selecting the Edit option. The WoTrack editor will then open. I will then find the field with the lookup I would like to hide and right-click. I will then select the Lookup Hide option. This creates a Hide Lookup, or value list, event on this field and opens the editor for the Hide event. I can now add a condition to make this Hide event conditional. This condition is created using a simple script. The script editor page of my hide event will provide me with a content assist. Content assist guides me as I create my condition. It will tell me what fields and other variables I can access. Furthermore, it will validate my script to ensure I did not make any typos. I will tell my server it has new configurations and then verify my configuration is working. Navigating through my work order tracking application, I can see that my problem code field does not have a lookup. Adding a failure code and making the problem code field editable adds a lookup to my problem code. See our other tutorials on how you can create a walkthrough of this configuration for training, or to verify it each time you update your system.